Hey guys, how's it going? It is Breaded Chicken here, bringing you my Q and A video. This is Q and A number dose, all for you guys. Your guys' questions, I answer them. That is just how it's gonna go. So the gameplay in the background is from Sanctum, a very good game. It is an indie game. It was actually on sale, or on sale, not on stale. It was on sale on Steam over the summer for like two bucks. It was it was crazy. It was insane. Um, it's a very good game. It is like a tower defense first person shooter type of deal. It's very good. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the gameplay, but let's get to the real show, shall we? So Q&A. Let's start off the first question. It's from ROKC. I'm guessing it's Rock. Rock 786. Are you excited for 1.8 and what is your favorite baseball team? So 1.8 I'm assuming is for Minecraft. And so I'll start off with the Minecraft portion. I'm definitely excited for the 1.8 update that is eventually going to come out. Um, I'm excited for the new combat system, the way that it shapes the world. It's going to add rivers, ravines, underground, uh, underground like temples and stuff like that. It's going to be insane. There's going to be new mobs. I'm excited for the new combat system because I'm sick of freaking zombies. Commando punching me in the face like cross map. I'm done with that. Uh, there's more rewards for adventure. I'm, I'm like super serial about this update I'm going to be insanely happy when it comes out hopefully they add more than I can possibly imagine and it is going to be damn sexy now to the second part of the question what is my favorite baseball team so my favorite baseball team is the San Francisco Giants um, for two reasons first reason is that I've been going to their games all my life I actually live in uh, a town close to San Francisco um, in California and I've been going to their games ever since I was a little kid, ever since there was no Barry Bonds, if you know who that is. When there was a Barry Bonds, and now, n now, till now, when we're, we are the, we are the champions. And uh, hopefully we are going to continue being number one and destroy everyone else. Um, the second reason is that it's basically, if you live around San Francisco and you do not like the Giants, if you do not like the Giants or the A's, one of the two, if you do not like either of them, you're basically shunned by the entire state of California. That is just how it goes. Um, or actually just Northern California. And that's basically how it goes. So that is sort of the other thing. I'm always watching my back. Hopefully, you know, no one jumps me for, you know, saying I do not like the Giants when I do. So, you know, just, just, uh, it's like a local thing. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's nice. I love them. Next question is from Nepez123. Are you excited for survival mode in Modern Warfare 3, and do you think it will be better than Nazi Zombies? Uh, to both of the questions, or both parts of the questions, um, I'm leaning towards a no. So basically, I do, I'm not really excited for the survival mode in Modern Warfare 3, and I do not think it will be better than Nazi Zombies. Uh, there's two reasons. The first reason is that I'm not sure Modern Warfare 3 will be a good game by itself. And so if it's a good game, or if it's not a good game, how can it have good game modes? Like, if it's a bad game, the whole thing is going to be bad, and it just won't be enjoyable. And I feel like there's other companies and other games that have survival modes, and it's not new, like Nazi Zombies was. That's one of the reasons why I think Nazi Zombies will still be better, is because it was new. They added something that added to the franchise, while survival mode... It's sort of like it's sort of like a Spec Ops mission that doesn't end. Um, I love the Spec Ops missions in Modern Warfare 2, and that's part of the thing that makes me somewhat excited. I mean, instead of just like completely hating it, I am a little bit of excited for it just because it reminds me of the old Spec Ops missions, and uh, that that is a pretty cool part of it. But the reason why I think think Nazi Zombies will be better in the end is just because uh, I enjoy Nazi Zombies very much. And I'm not talking about like the Black Ops Nazi Zombies. I think that the Call of Duty 5 Nazi Zombies were a lot better. I um, actually think that the first Nazi Zombies was uh, the best map in in all. I don't I don't know really why. I just don't like the extra crap that they've been adding on with all the monkeys and now there's a uh, space man and stuff like that. And it's like come on, you know this is zombies. This is not like freaking add everything you possibly can to keep people buying it. It is. Just keep it simple, keep it clean, keep it how it originally was, and I'll buy it. That's basically what my thoughts on that. Um, moving on to KRMA Pollux. Uh, 
they asked a lot of questions. So this is actually a question um, they asked a while ago. It is, I'm curious about what kind of college you are going to, what's your Steam account, and can we add you on the console? Oh, and what is your real name, and why the username breaded chicken? And a uh, another part of that is, what is your favorite movie? Finger sandwiches or pancakes? So I'm going to run through all of those six or seven questions right now. And uh, it seems like somehow, like most of these questions, it's like, um, especially from KRMA Pollux, they're like geared towards like down to the day in detail. Like, so you say, I'm curious about what kind of colleges you are going to or looking at or whatever. And I just got back from a college visit at UC Davis. So like that's part of it. And I had finger sandwiches today. So it's like, all your questions are just like, ah, it's like you're stalking me. I love it. So, um, what kind of colleges I'm looking at are basically engineering slash like digital media colleges. Um, the reason why is because I just love making stuff. I like getting hands on and doing it myself, making something. I mean, science is cool and all, and math is cool. I'm very good at both of them, but it's not like they interest me that much. I want to build something that people can see physically and enjoy and stuff like that. That's why part of the reason why I do YouTube is just because I'm making something. I'm making videos. And, uh, yeah, I really love that about, you know, life, I guess. So, basically, that's what I'm looking for, engineering and digital media. Um, unfortunately, Davis, w what I visited today, it didn't seem like they are one thing. I mean, they're the, actually, I think, the biggest UC system. Or, actually, maybe you guys don't know exactly what I'm talking about. So, um, UC Davis is a school in California. It is UC, which is University of California at Davis, at the town of Davis. Um, so that's what I'm talking about when I say UC Davis, UC is like University of California. And so I'm looking there, but it's so big. The actual, um, campus is I think 15 miles or something in like, oh, it's just crazy big. Everyone has a bike. You cannot have cars on campus and you ride everywhere. It's insane. I'm, I think, I uh, I don't know actually what I'm thinking about that school. I just got back, you know. So I'm having mixed feelings. It was a little too big for me. There's like 32,000 people that are at that college. That's a lot of people. And yeah, so moving on. Let's just get on with it. Um, what's your Steam account? And can we add you on the console? My Steam account is just breaded chicken. It will always stay that way. I'm not going to change it anytime soon. And you can always add me on the console. I add every single person, even if they're from YouTube or not. Um, I, I just want some friends, you know. I'm kind of lonely and stuff like that so yeah basically add me I will add you that's just how it's gonna go down you'll never be sad when you're with me uh, moving on what is my real name my real name is Quinn Q-U-I-N-N um, you can also say K-Win like K-W-I-N that is Quinn as well um, I will not tell you my last name because I'm gonna leave it to you guys to add me on Skype so you can find my last name and uh, you'll find it there so if you are uh, encouraged to find out my last name that is how you'll find it and why the username breaded chicken so this is I've been waiting for this question for a long time I think I've actually answered it in maybe like a Skype call with some people or something like that and basically what happened is so I got my PS3 around like 2007 or whatever whenever black uh, not black ops god dang man that game sucks when uh, whenever Call of Duty 4 came out and I didn't have Call of Duty 4 at the time my only game was Medal of Honor Airborne, and that was one of my favorite games. That is, that has probably a that is one of the best single-player, first-person shooter World War II games. I think you could upgrade guns and stuff. It was insane. Um, but so around that time, I finally realized that you could go online and stuff. Well, I didn't realize. I knew you could go online, and there was like Xbox Live and stuff like that. But I never really had done it myself because I just had a PS2 and that was it. I had a PS2 and an Xbox. And um, I didn't, you know, I never really got into the online thing. I was basically, oh, I'll just invite a friend over and w if we want to play video games, we'll play video games. You know, I mean, s uh, split screen and stuff like that. So basically when I decided to get online, I needed to, you know, have a username. And I was thinking, you know, I wasn't being that creative. I was like, hmm, okay, that's a phone right there. Maybe I could be like phone 256. Oh, no, that's a dumb name. Um, what is that? Oh, that's a controller. Uh, no, I don't want to have a weird controller name. 
Um, there's Medal of Honor. Uh, Medal of Honor something something. Elite hacks or skills. No, that's not that great. Oh, wait. What did I have for dinner today? I had breaded chicken. And so basically here I am, the legend, the myth. And uh, I am breaded chicken. Because I had breaded chicken the night that um, I had to have my username. Uh, the thing is that I have chicken like all the time. That is my basically my diet for my life. And uh, on occasion, my mom makes um, this breaded Parmesan chicken with like the salad stuff on top. Insanely good. And so basically, it was that special day. And I was like, I am naming myself breaded chicken. And that just how it happened. I don't know. I've got I've gotten so many weird comments, and like when I'm in lobbies, people are like, "Breaded chicken? What kind of name is that? That's ridiculous." I mean, at least like be fried chicken or teriyaki chicken. What's breaded chicken? And it, it's kind of been a curse, but I think it's still a great name. It sticks on me, man. It's like it's in love with me. I'm in love with it. So Jesus, can I make polys? You have a thousand one questions, and I like that because everyone else doesn't really have that many. So favorite movie. Oh god, that's a that's a hard one. Um Hmm. Favorite movie. I'll tell you a couple movies, just because I can't pick a favorite right now. I mean I'll be sitting here for hours. So basically Alright, we had Kung Pao. Kung Pao I think is hilarious. Um we have Dark Knight. Um I liked 310 to Yuma. 310 to Yuma was I, I don't know, I really like that Western movie. Um, I like a lot of Western movies too. They are pretty badass and have that bad badassery going on. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Inception was good. I don't like how people like freaked out and they're like, "Oh my god, I'm too stupid to understand what happened." Um, what else? I don't know. I liked. Uh, I used to watch a bunch of old Bruce Lee movies, and uh, <laughs> that was pretty funny. I used to watch like every single one, and that was. Well, that was pretty good. So basically, the, those are five genres of movies, I guess, that I enjoy. But you're finally, your last question. Finger sandwiches or pancakes? I'm going to have to go with sandwiches all the way. There's nothing better than a good old sandwich. I'm guessing my finger sandwiches, you're meaning like small, like bite-sized sandwiches. Um, doesn't matter what kind of sandwich. I am all about the sandwiches. I could have any type of sandwich, and it's going to go down easy. Pancakes, on the other hand. You never know with a pancake. I mean, if you go to a fancy restaurant or something and you order a pancake, it's going to have, like, oats and weird stuff in it that you do not want. And that can get kind of annoying. I mean, a good old-fashioned pancake just made, you know, from batter or whatever, those are good. I enjoy those a lot. But, you know, they're few and far between. I've had a lot more sandwiches in my life. And uh, I do enjoy them. But thank you for those questions, KRMA Pollux. Now to randoms. So randoms or Nick. I don't know what you want to be called. You don't deserve a name, actually. But um, you asked a question a while ago and probably forgot about it, and you asked one right now. I'm going to go with the more serious one and answer your tomfoolery later. So, do you, do you enjoy Battlefield or Call of Duty better? Grammar is uh, obviously one of your strong points. Um, I cannot say. I cannot say which I enjoy better. Um, I don't know. It's it's It depends. So, I played... More Call of Duty games in my life. I've called Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty 5, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and Black Ops compared to Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 2. And the space between I played Battlefield 2 and Bad Company 2 is so such a big gap that it's like it, it's hard to dis I don't know decide between Battlefield or Call of Duty because Call of Duty has had Call of Duty 4, where it's just basically the introduction to everything. Call of Duty 2, too. I love Call of Duty 2. It's like sniper heaven. But Call of Duty 4 um, was basically just like bare bones Call of Duty. Call of Duty 5, I thought it was really good going back to World War 2 and had Nazi zombies. Modern Warfare 2 was pretty ridiculous. I mean, honestly, it was pretty ridiculous. And Black Ops, um, I, don't, I don't really care for it that much. Battlefield 2 was basically my introduction to video games, so that, like, okay, how about this? I'll do it this way. Black Ops is the lowest on the ranking between Battlefield and Call of Duty. Then it goes probably Modern Warfare 2, um, then Bad Company 2, and, um, and COD 5 probably tie, as well as Battlefield 2 and COD 4 probably tie. That's probably... 
Yeah, that's probably a good amount. Just as good games go. Like, I haven't, I'm not talking really about, like, how much fun I've had in each. Because probably with my, I don't know, 15 or 20, I don't know how many days I've played Call of Duty. But with all those days, I probably had a more amount of fun compared to Battlefield. But with, as good games go, I would say that the early year CODs and the um, Battlefield 2 and Bad Company 2 are probably around even. They're just really different games. I mean, Call of Duty games are arcadey. Battlefield games are, you know, more hardcore and actual strategies and objectives. So that, that's basically how it goes for me. On to your next question and then to the other ridiculous question. Will you give me five hats in TF2? Um, as long as you give me 20 refined and then we'll have a deal. Um, and then the next question by Shitbrain or SHT Brain. This is the last question and is, can I have your PSN account? Um, uh, basically no, unless you're willing to pay me like thousands of dollars. Um, but if not, then I'm sorry you cannot have my PSN account. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. This has probably been two parts just because I've had a lot of questions. This is the most amount of questions I've had ever. And uh, hopefully the next time I do this, I'll get even more and I can make it, you know, two full parts. And that maybe even eventually do it every week and stuff like that. I'd really like that to happen. Um, but uh, as always, I'm Breaded Chicken. And have a nice day.